Okay, so n another nation versus nation challenge. I had a subscriber request to do a couple of these and really just taking the tech trees of each nation, putting them against each other to see how they compete, work out, how, um, how they do really against each other. Uh, I've done you know, Russian bias versus German engineering, American pride versus, you know, there's kind of a mix and blend of different nation v, uh, versus nation vids we've done. And now we're going to take the USA or American pride versus British hash. See how these two do in this showdown against each other to find out which nation will come out on top. The... There are differences between these tech trees, uh, these nations, and the characteristic that their tanks have. They're, they're different, they do have some similarities, um, but I'll go ahead and just kind of touch on those while we're going into our first round. We're gonna do best out of three and see which one comes out on top. So when looking at the American tech tree, you really have tanks that are characteristically known for being uh, the jack of all trades. You look at the heavy line. Now you do have tanks like the T1 Heavy, um, and that is a really good, very strong, well-armored tank. Um, and as you go up in that heavy line, you eventually get to the, uh, the E5, which is a great tank overall, good frontal armor, okay gun depression, um, you know, good accuracy, good rate of fire, nothing like great in one aspect or another or anything that has an extreme, um, but just overall really well-rounded tanks. Some tanks may do really well in one attribute, but they really suffer in another attribute. And in this showdown, when we do these nation versus nation vids, I let the subscribers joining the room really choose whatever tanks they want, as long as they're balanced, meaning we have an equal amount of tier X or tier nine, tier eight um, tanks from each side, People can choose whichever tank they want uh, that they think will give them the best advantage. Now, in this one, there were people that were wanting <laughs> to jump in. We had a lot of people really wanting to use the Sheridan missile, um, thinking that would really give them the advantage. The Sheridan missile was something that was removed. It's not in the normal battles that we're familiar with uh, used to be but i figured you know what atgms i mean they they did exist um historically um so i was like eh why not but let me know your thoughts uh, if that was something that maybe was unfair um or or not so on the British, now, I guess I didn't finish talking about the American side, but you do have tanks like going up the E3 line, which has an incredible amount of frontal armor. Um, and then you have the Patton uh, tier 10 medium tank, which is a very well uh, rounded medium tank, good armor, view range. Once again, kind of jack of all trades, but that's what the American tech is known for. The British tech, on the other hand, is typically known for great DPM, high rate of fire, um, sometimes not necessarily known for their armor, maybe more so in lower tiers like the Matilda or some of the AT tank destroyers. Um, but then you have the Death Star, which is <laughs> the extreme opposite, which has a really long reload time, but does an extremely high amount of damage per shot. So we have the British that won the first round, and we're going to see 
who can come out on top in the second round. Doing a mix, want to thank all the subscribers that helped. Um, you guys really make the channel, the, um, you know, the vids just absolutely awesome. You guys suggest so many great ideas. So keep them coming, keep joining. Um, join the Discord server, uh, Muffin on Blitz, YT or YouTube. And anyone and everyone is more than welcome to join and help in these rooms. So just getting some different perspectives here. And definitely want to give a shout out to Garrett. Thank you so much for helping with a lot of these videos, putting the replays together. Um, so definitely want to thank him for his excellent work in helping with these videos. Quite a bounce there off the T95. in a very, very difficult position here being that, and excellent in focusing on those tracks, but very, very difficult position here as the T95 does not have great traverse maneuverability, can easily get flanked. So very, very difficult position for this T95, but great effort by the subscribers. Now here, we have the British nation that has now won two rounds. Can the USA redeem themselves in this last round, or is it going to be a total annihilation? We're going to find out here shortly. Now, it's kind of funny because... I've also been playing War Thunder, and I want to do also a mix of Blitz War Thunder vids on this channel as well. I think the, um, the admin of my War Thunder crew might be out, um, which is why we haven't posted a War Thunder vid in just a little bit of time. We did an event with them. We actually, one of the next War Thunder vids... Um, that's just in the works of being put together is the Battle of Rosinia, where there was the KV-2, I believe is what it was, against a bunch of Panzer III's, um, and seeing how that would turn out by doing that in War Thunder. So we're going to add kind of a mix of uh, war vehicle uh, vids in with this channel, along with Blitz. I've been playing it and it's been a lot of fun. And I would have to say, I probably like it just as much as Blitz. So man, it is crazy to think we are almost coming up on 20K subscribers. <laughs> that is just so awesome going to be hitting it here pretty soon. I think maybe just within even the next couple days or so. So man, what a struggle. Americans still having a really difficult time. The one thing that there, there was a lot of people picking the missile Sheridan and the problem with that is even though there is that missile advantage which <laughs> let's be honest, ticked off a lot of people. The problem with firing a missile is you are you don't even start reloading until your missile explodes or hits something. Whereas when shooting a shell, it reloads instantly after you start firing. So by using that missile um, capability, it dramatically drops your DPM. Only about one left here. Will they be able to take him out before they end up capping? I think they end up due. 
or they think I think they end up uh, taking him out just before the timer does. But unfortunately, this does look like a total annihilation against the U.S. Tech line versus the British Tech line. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Plenty more of awesome stuff to come. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.